was already dead inside. I checked his phone and you were the last person he texted with. What, what, what were you trying to warn him about? Look, I'm aware that what I'm about to say is going to sound completely insane, but Lewis didn't kill himself. He was systematically infected, possessed, and then murdered by some kind of metaphysical being. What the fuck are you talking about? If it helps, you might call it a, a, a spirit or a demon, maybe. I have no clue what this thing is, but it disguises itself to look like people, like smiling people, but only the person that's been infected by it can see it. That, that's, that's not real. That's some supernatural bullshit. But you've seen it, haven't you? That's why you're still sitting here. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I feel like I'm losing my goddamn mind. That's precisely what this thing does to you. It's what it did to Lewis while it was latched onto him. It's like a, a parasite that infects a host through their mind. In less than a week, it drives the host insane. It's like it feeds off all the bad shit in their head, and then once it's done feeding, it forces the host to kill themselves in front of a witness. And then that witness becomes the new host. That's how you got it from Lewis. Before that, it was passed to Lewis by a cop in Jersey. That cop was the first one I tried to contact, but. I guess he went off the grid. The cop caught it from some doctor who got it from a patient who got it from a college professor, and the chain keeps going back. I've documented all of this. I can show you. It's Why right. do you even know all of this? Because it killed my brother. My brother was a host. Eight people before you. He tried to tell me what was happening to him, but he made it hard to trust him, and the stuff he was saying sounded certifiably crazy. He begged me for help. But I didn't listen. And then a few days later, I got a call informing me that he tore his own jaw off with a crowbar. 